I used to have this game when I was a kid called Zeus Master of Olympus. <laughs> Don't, don't judge me. Okay, so Zeus Master of Olympus was this like simulation game where you built like a mythological Greek city or a real Greek city, you know, a game Greek city in ancient Greece. Anyway, whatever. It was so much fun and there were different like objectives you could have, like depending on which um, kind of like story you were playing, but then they also had something called a sandbox mode. And in sandbox mode, you just built a city for the fun of it. So today we're gonna do like makeup sandbox mode. I don't, I, I, I've had a hard time thinking of what I wanna do with my makeup today. So we're just gonna play around because it's not that serious. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna chit chat through this face and makeup so I will be sure to let you know on the screen somewhere everything that I'm using. I'm gonna start off with moisturizer. I think I did moisturize this morning, but actually I know I did, but my face is feeling like a little bit dehydrated because you guys, I missed one day of my skincare routine and my skin went nuts. It was very unhappy. My skin was very mad at me and then I was like immediately regretted it the next day. I literally, I was just so tired. So we have been traveling. We went to see my family in North Carolina, my parents and my brothers. If you have not heard before, <laughs> if you've never heard, I think I've only mentioned it in one video actually, but I grew up on a farm in North Carolina and that is where my parents live. So we went to see my parents and I don't know, the day we got home, like after driving that far, I was just really, I could not pull myself together to like get out of bed once I finally got our daughter to sleep. So I just, I didn't do my skincare that day and my skin has been dehydrated and angry at me ever since because of that one day. I can't believe I did that. I never skip a day, but I did. So today I'm gonna be trying this Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. Just wanna mention that because I haven't used this yet. You guys saw it in my most recent Sephora haul. But I haven't, this shirt is so weird, you guys. I just want it to like, I want it to sit and it won't just sit like. So I got this foundation in my most recent Sephora haul and I haven't used it yet. So I'm excited to try it today. I think I'm gonna try it with a brush and then kind of like dab it in with a sponge to kind of soak up any excess. I've been speaking lately about how much I've been enjoying, oh my gosh, I was gonna forget primer. That's how you know you haven't been like wearing a lot of makeup is when you forget primer. So like I said, I grew up on a farm, that's where my parents live. So we were there and I mean, obviously I didn't wear like a lot of makeup. I was wearing like um, my La Mer Tinted Moisturizer that I'm just obsessed with. And then I was also using a Charlotte Tilbury Cream Blush. It was like a very light, uh, very, very light, quick makeup, just like barely anything, just to make me feel a little more like kept up in the morning and it was definitely products that I felt comfortable that like, you know, when things like washed off during the day because my parents have a pool and it's salt water. So, I mean, I go under, like <laughs> you can dive. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It's so nice. So I definitely like don't worry about my makeup when I'm swimming or hanging out with the animals. Like I just don't worry about it. It's just not something that I think about. So I always, when I'm there, I kind of just wear makeup that you know, I know it's gonna wear off very evenly and be very light and not look weird once it, you know, does come off. Um, I think there's like two approaches to that. Like either like you wear like a lot of makeup and like really try to lock it in or you do what I do, which is like the really light. Like I think those are kind of the two approaches when it comes to, you know, makeup that you're gonna, you know, be wearing outside when it's hot and by the water. So that's always the route I go. And I really like, I found like a little routine that I really loved and it was just a few products and it just, oh my gosh, I was so obsessed with it. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see that. It's just very like light, fresh summer makeup. Um, I know we're coming to the end of summer though. So I just wasn't sure if that's something you guys would wanna see or not. So let me know. All right, so going in with this Estee Lauder, foundation and I think I'm using like a little more than I wanted to but that's okay because I'm going to go back in with a sponge and kind of try to pick up any excess after I lay down this layer of foundation. So it was absolutely so nice to just be with my parents. I hadn't seen my dad since Christmas which is just really hard. I'm really close with both my parents. My dad is just like honestly like he's the nicest human being on the planet. I love him so much, so it just made me so happy to see him. And you know, it's really hard when you have 
children. Well, I have one child, <laughs> but um, it's just been really hard because this is such like a developmental stage for her. Like she's growing so quickly. So for her to not be able to see my dad and my dad to not be able to see her for that long, this is just really, was just really hard. So I was so happy that we got to go and we had like a one year birthday party for my, see this shirt is really like, I really am regretting the shirt. I kind of want to change it, but it's just, we're, we're already there, so we're not gonna do it. So we had like a little first birthday for my daughter. My mom made these beautiful cakes. Oh my God, they were so cute. Um, and there was like really no one allowed. Um, both of my grandmothers came and that was it. <laughs> like my parents, um, my brother and his girlfriend, and then both of my grandmothers and my mother-in-law and obviously my husband and I and my daughter. So it's just very small and very safe, but it was just really good to be able to, you know, share that with them because, you know, you don't get two first birthdays. So it was a little different than we had expected. Originally we had planned um, to use the same venue that we had our baby shower at, which was like this, it's this like private house that has all these like really beautifully maintained gardens and fountains. And so we were hoping to do it there, her first birthday, but it just, I mean, when it came down to it, we just wanted to be safe and I would never want to put anyone at risk. I really like this foundation. This is like a nice finish and I like that. I put on just a very light layer. I can still see freckles and skin under it. So this is definitely kind of the uh, coverage I've been liking lately. I'm just kind of bouncing a little sponge over it that's dirty, but whatever. I haven't cleaned my brushes in like a week uh, since before we got back. I'm like, Ugh, I need to do that, but seriously, it's such a pain in the butt to have to do. So, so I'm gonna do my eyes before I do my concealer because I really wanna do like a nice like kind of wing. So I wanna be able to go like clean it up. I don't wanna do like a liner wing. I'm gonna do like a shadow wing, I think. That's what I'm going for. We're gonna see if it is what happens. <laughs> That's my, my like little basic plan right now, but I don't know for sure. So we had a great time in North Carolina and then when we got back, my daughter's schedule was obviously completely off, which means that now my schedule is completely off because um, I can't sleep unless she's asleep, which is so funny because I remember being so annoyed when people would be like, oh, make sure you sleep while you can. Like when I was pregnant, I think every pregnant woman has heard that from people. They're like, oh, sleep now while you can, sleep now while you can. And it's like, obviously I knew like you can't go to sleep if your baby is awake, but I don't think it like really registered that like, oh, you can't sleep if your baby is awake. Like your sleep when you have a baby is dependent on that baby sleeping and not all babies sleep really well. <laughs> like my daughter now only wakes up like once during the night to nurse, but the first like six months of her life, she maybe would sleep like an hour and a half at a time. <laughs> so I have not slept. I think four hours is the longest I have slept in a year now. <laughs> But we had such a good trip, but it really like, I am such a homebody and I was so happy to be home because I'm a dork and I really love home. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw in some powder over this. I don't know why I'm throwing powder on over this eye primer, but I just am, um, I'm gonna use this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I just always do this and so it feels weird to me not to, so I'm gonna stick with my same like normal thing that I do. This is gonna be like, you could make this a drinking game of like how many different times I adjust my shirt and how many different ways the collar lays. Like you would be done by the end of this video because it is like all over the place. So like I said, I'm gonna use this Carly Bible palette. I absolutely love her. I think she's just like one of the most beautiful individuals on the planet, number one. And she just seems like a really sweet person. So I'm a big fan of hers. So first I'm going in with the shade Bare. So my daughter's routine is really off and my daughter, very much like me, thrives on a routine. I am a routine driven individual. I have to, I just like, I have a routine and when I am off my routine, I am not a little happy person. Like I'm so <laughs> cranky when my routine is thrown off. And so it's been kind of difficult. My routine since we got back has been super off. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I kind of want to go in like high 
I'm kind of like going above my crease because I kind of want to like raise my crease up for this and I don't really want to put any dark colors like anywhere on the lid because I just want to make my eye look really open but then like at the same time have a wing. I don't know if that's possible. But that's what I'm going for and we're playing around so it's no big deal. This is the color Bible. Bible? Bible? I don't know. So just keeping that high. This is a 217. I love MAC eyeshadow brushes so much and I've really tried to buy less MAC. I don't know over the years over the last like couple years. I've tried to buy less um, I just have a few products from them that I'm like obsessed about like Max Faux. <laughs> how many times, I mean, you could really make a drinking game out of some of my videos if you just like, how many times, like if I reference Max Faux or Luminous Silk, you would have to drink. <laughs> that would just be a great game. So my routine has just been a little off since we got back because I'm a lot busier than I have been in, oh my gosh, months and months and months. We're putting in a home office on our first floor and so all the furniture came, but then they sent like one of the wrong pieces. Like we were supposed to have like two hutches. I'll put in a picture of what we got. And instead of sending like the um, second hutch, they accidentally sent like a second desktop, which obviously we don't need two desktops because we got like one of the like really big ones where you can fit two people, like one on each side. That way my husband and I can share the home office because it's a big enough space that it shouldn't be an issue for us to share it. I just sliced myself open. You guys, I just cut myself. Oh, I went to open my razor and I just whoop, cause I have like a little eyebrow here and I literally just like sliced myself open. I swear I do my brows and then as soon as I start doing my makeup, I see like little places that I missed. And so that is what I'm doing now. I was just trying to clean that up and in the process, I sliced my finger open. <laughs> oh, so sad. So I feel like that opened up my eye a good bit, like I was wanting. So I'm gonna go in with this like champagne shimmery shade called Bolly. I'm gonna pack that on the lid. I actually might take a setting spray to do that because I feel like this is a color that would look good with a setting spray on it. I'm gonna try to get a little more shiny, shiny on that because I do just want like to make my lid look bigger today. I don't know why. I have a small, I don't have a ton of lid space. My eyes aren't hooded. Although I've literally like gone back and forth so many times questioning if they are. It's just that my lid space is small. I have, you know, it is what it is. It's not like a hanging issue. It's just, they're smaller. So today I just want them to look bigger and then I'm gonna go in and make myself like a little shadow wing. I don't know, it's kind of been on my mind that I wanna do that. I still cannot believe I just sliced my finger open. So I'm gonna try to make this my wing using the color Boy, which is a taupey, like a dark taupey color. So I recently talked about how my August and September are super busy and they are, and it's so crazy because I can tell that I'm getting really anxious about everything that's on my plate. <laughs> Look at this, bop, bop, bop. I can tell that I'm getting really anxious about everything that's on my plate because I have been listening to Harry Potter audiobooks nightly. Like that is how I am going to sleep is listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks, which is always like my comfort thing that I do to kind of like make myself less anxious at night so that I can kind of turn my brain off and go to sleep. So when I notice that I've been doing that for like two weeks in a row, I'm like, oh yeah, like I am obviously getting a little bit anxious. All right, there we go. We have a little shadow wing. I just wanted to do a shadow wing because I feel like it's just softer and I have not done wings in a long time. So I feel like it's a little bit more forgiving to go in and do it with a shadow. Wow, that turned out better than I expected it to. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other one and be right back because I don't want to bore you and it's really hard for me to like talk and think and do this at the same time. <laughs> I am so proud of myself that these wings are somewhat even. I don't think they're completely even, but they're close enough. I'm really proud of myself on that though because it has been a long time since I have tried to do any kind of like actual like wing wing. I mean, a lot of times I'll do like an elongated cat eye, but I'll use like a piece of tape 
or like a little trail of powder. I do not often just kind of freehand anything. So I'm just gonna darken up that little outer corner just a touch, the outer corner of like the crease right here. Just adding a little bit more of Bite Bell. I'm going in with barely anything. These shadows are really pigmented. There's really not much fallout. I couldn't really remember if there was fallout. That's why I didn't put on my concealer yet, just in case I needed to clean up. And there's really not. There's a good amount of kick up in the pans, but I think that's kind of something we've come to expect from ABH. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide which concealer to go in with. I have the Forever Skin Correct from Dior, and then I have the Boing Caicos Concealer from Benefit. I just am not sure which one I wanna go with today. I'm kinda of gonna go off of which one has like the tone I'm looking for. They're supposed to both be neutral, but that doesn't always happen. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the Boing because it looks brighter and I, ooh, that's a weird sound. <laughs> I really want kind of a bright under eye today. So I'm gonna go in with Boing. Ooh, I've never used this, so, ooh. Ooh, I like this. It's a little bit, um, looser like it's a little more what's that word i'm looking for not thick what's the opposite of thick thin it's a little thinner than i was really anticipating but i do like the shade i feel like it is very good neutral maybe it's a touch 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 yellow but not bad so we're gonna see i'm gonna try to blend it out with a concealer brush oh my gosh this is very like this this spreads really well huh i'm a fan I'm gonna get it as close to the wing as I can. So, like I was saying, I'm just really obsessed with listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks lately, which tells me, oh yeah, I'm totally in, in stress mode. <laughs> I absolutely love those books. I read the first one when I was in fourth grade and it was very recently published at that point because I was growing up as they were being released and my birthday is in mid-July and so like almost every year, the new book would be released really close to my birthday. So my parents would always get me the newest book and I would just like sit down and read that thing in one setting. I just was so absolutely in love with those books. And it's funny, lately I've been listening to The Goblet of Fire, which is the fourth book. And I think that was one of my favorites growing up. Like that was one of my very favorites. I'm not sure if it was my most favorite. It's so hard for me to pick a most favorite Harry Potter book because I love them all so much. And I think I just kind of like listen to different ones at different times because some of them are lighter than others. Obviously like the very early ones, like one through three are a lot lighter than everything that follows. Number four is definitely like for me, kind of a very transition book because it's kind of like transitioning between the lighter, you know, early years. And then when things start to get really like kind of dark and a little bit scary, I think Goblet of Fire definitely has some scary parts in it. It was funny, I woke up last night and I was like kind of freaked out because it was one scene in the book where they're talking about Karkaroff, Kar Kakarov, who may be like a dark wizard, it's a whole thing. If you don't, if you've never read the books, you're like wondering what is wrong with me right now and you don't follow and I'm sorry for that, but just trust me, so good. So growing up, like number four was definitely one of my very faves. And I remember my parents, I used to take private art classes once a week after school. Like it was me, I wasn't like private, like I was the only kid, it just was private, like it was outside of school. And there was like probably eight of us in my little class, two of them, Two of the people were me and my brother. <laughs> um, and so we would go to art class and I remember making like a little clay figurine of Fleur Delacour, who's in the fourth book because I was just obsessed with her. I was like, oh my God, the way that she was described in the book, she just sounded so pretty. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I want to make a little figurine of her. And I just wanted to be her. <laughs> really, I wanted to be her. I wanted to be Hermione. And then when I read that book, I wanted to be Fleur Delacour, Delacour. And then I wanted to be Hermione again after that book. It's just funny, those books have given me so many years of just memories and comfort really, because it's just such a comforting thing, I think, for me to like listen to them. I think that's why I listen to them when I'm kind of like anxious and I listen to them when I'm not anxious, although to be honest, I'm an extremely anxious person. So it's very rare that I'm not anxious, but I just love those books so much. They've given me so much. So with everything being so like hectic, I did ask you guys on, on whatchamacallit, on Instagram, 
If anybody has any suggestions for like meal plans, like meal delivery kits, I love to cook and we maybe eat out once a week, if that, for dinner, because I really like to cook and my mother-in-law lives with us right now and she also cooks. So it's just very rare that we eat out. So I really like to cook, I love it. It's just such like a therapeutic thing for me. I really enjoy it. But right now I have so much on my plate this month and next month. So I thought it might be good to supplement the normal meals that I cook with like some kind of meal kit, maybe two or three times a week, just for like the next four to six weeks. Because for me, I really wanna keep with home cooked meals. I don't wanna be ordering out a lot, but you know, grocery shopping and ordering and kind of planning it out takes additional time on top of cooking. So if I could kind of cut that step out, the whole having to plan and grocery shop step out for just you know maybe two or three meals for the next few weeks i think that would really help me out so i just was wondering and let me know in the comments below what meal delivery kit do you use if you use one which one do you use do you like it which one do you suggest because i really i don't know i have had hello fresh before just you know in times when i've been really busy like last year when i was pregnant we got hello fresh for i think like the last two months just so that i would you know have a little easier of a time so their meals were really good i know but i'm just wondering if there's anything else out there the only other one i had tried was i tried blue apron at the very beginning like when it first came out i tried blue apron but now when I looked at their menus, I just didn't feel like there was like a ton of variety and I am someone who loves variety. Um, so I just wasn't that excited by them. And I used to, last year when I was pregnant, I used HelloFresh and I also tried one called Plated that I absolutely loved. I thought their food was amazing, but they went out of business. So, so I'm just curious if anyone has any suggestions because I would like to try one and I need to really get on it because I know usually you have to order like at least like a week to 10 days in advance of when you want it delivered. So I need to get on that or I'm just gonna be like, you know, cooking my own meals. It's so funny because I definitely find that I'm wanting to take on all these projects right now, even though I have a lot on my plate already. But I feel like I know that summer is coming to a close and it's like every time we approach a season change, I don't know if you do the same thing, I kind of like feel this need to like refresh and reset and take on some new projects, make some changes. It's like I have to like kind of slow myself down because I will end up taking on more than I can do and then nothing gets done. I have a bad habit of that. So I'm definitely trying to like kind of like slow myself because I have a lot going on with work and then I also have like the home office project. I'm wanting to like reorganize my makeup and it's just like, okay, slow down, settle down. <laughs> I have found myself really wanting to kind of like eat a little bit healthier. We've kind of gotten off track the last few months as I know a lot of people have. And so I'm trying to eat healthier. One thing I've been doing is I have been eating without any distractions which is something I learned in college. I took a consciousness class in college. This was back in like 2010. And so I think this was really before its time. And by consciousness, it was basically like mindfulness. And that was kind of the basic premise of the class was being mindful and things and how much of our lives we really aren't, you know, in the moment and present for. And I remember one of our assignments was actually that we had to eat for a week. Every meal we had to eat without any distraction, no phone, no TV, nothing on, just sit there, really pay attention to our food. It was like, think about where your food comes from, you know, think about how your food makes you feel. And it was crazy because I really would eat less when I was doing that than when I'm distracted. So I've been doing that the past week and I have noticed a difference that I've been really, I think, eating a little bit less. So that's one thing I kind of really want to keep up is kind of being a little bit more mindful about eating. And I also need to get back to exercising because I have not been doing it. And I own a Peloton, so really I have no excuse. It is literally right downstairs. I can go to it. I do not have an excuse for not working out. And honestly, like my desire to exercise right now is more just like health. Our daughter just turned one and I realized like, oh, like I really wanna make sure that my husband and I are around, you know, later into her life. You know, I wanna to live to see my grandchildren. So I really just wanna be 
healthier all around. So that's something I really wanna focus on in the fall. I feel like it's just one of those times where it's like, if I can just get through the next six weeks like, so that I can do some things for myself. I really like how this eye turned out. I feel like my eyes look bigger, but also I've kind of elongated them a little bit. So I know that those are like almost two like contradictory things at times, but I feel like I kind of pulled it off. And I really like this palette. I can't believe I didn't use it that much. Well, actually I can because when I got it, it came out like what, was it last October? Did I get this last October or was it the October before? I can't keep up with anything. I feel like when you have a baby, when you're pregnant and you have a baby, you lose like your first child, at least for me. It was like, I, I lost like a whole year. Like I don't really remember times anymore, like time frames. I have such a hard time with it. I think it's like pregnancy and the mom brain. I never believed that was a thing. It is 100% a thing, like I have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan contour book. I have um, volume three. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this thing. It's, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's such a cool palette, absolutely, or book palette, book palette. I absolutely love this thing. So I'm gonna use this for my contour. I'm gonna contour my nose first, I think. If I can find my little nose contour brush. I just feel like I need some, some contour going on. I'm gonna use Sculpting Light Shade from this palette, obviously, because I am light. <laughs> it's so funny, like this is me with, self tan like this is as dark as i get you guys if you ever see me without a self tan which is very rare because i almost always am self tanned i'm so pale so very pale that i just i don't know it bugs me i've never quite mastered being that pale so it's so funny because i feel like my version of self tan is so much lighter than <laughs> a lot of people's but i can't help it it's so funny though my daughter so my daughter turned a year old as I had said, and now I find myself having like baby fever. I texted my husband the other night and I was like, I feel like I'm gonna want another baby, <laughs> which is so funny because for like the past, I don't know, six months, it's been my husband who's like, yes, we definitely wanna have another baby. And I'm like, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, and I've been the one on the fence and he's been the one that's like, yes, we're gonna have another baby. <laughs> um, but now that she's a little bit older, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I want another baby. I have like baby fever again. I definitely want to give more space though. Um, I think that I definitely want to be able to like enjoy her, like the stages she's going through. She just, she grows so much and changes so much. So I don't want another baby right now. Maybe we can start thinking about it like in another year. We can, we can think about it. But for right now, I feel like just with everything going on too, it just feels like too much of like a, anxiety inducing time to think about having another baby right now and i read an article that was talking about that that was just saying like apparently there's going to be like 500,000 less babies born because of everything that's gone on in the last few months that there's a lot of people are feeling that way that like they're just not sure if they want to have more babies or their first baby like a lot of people are putting off having babies and they think that it's going to equal that like half a million less babies will be born because of all of this. So I can definitely understand that. Like you wanna feel safe and secure when you have a child. And I mean, I always felt that way. And then I definitely, all of that feeling was definitely reinforced once we had our daughter because babies are just so helpless and they need so much love and support. And I just cannot imagine I feel for everyone that's like pregnant and having children right now over the last few months because I know it has to add so much more stress. I'm doing like a very powder forward look today, which is very odd for me, but I kind of just felt like I wanted to. I'm gonna go in and try a little bit of this Chantikai Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. I just wanna put a little bit kind of on my face, just like barely. Even when I do powder, I don't do much but I just wanna put like a touch before I go and bronze and then put on my blush cause I'm gonna use a powder bronzer and a powder, powder? A powder blush today, both from Chantecaille. I'm gonna be trying them out. This is the Chantecaille Real Bronze. I did find out, if you saw that unboxing, I mentioned these dimples. I did find out that is that is how it's supposed to be. It's not, <laughs> not a mistake. That is how they're supposed to be. Thank you to Teresa's Dead for letting me know. And also from Hemi Bai, so many products from Chantikai. I'm so excited to try all of these products. I just 
I think that they are so beautiful. I love the little design that's in this bronzer. So I'm just gonna kind of like bronze myself up a little bit to add some warmth in because I feel like we're very like cold toned right now, especially since the eyes are cold toned. I just need some warmth. I think a lot of times I really have to balance just because I do tend to, my skin tends to run very neutral. It gets a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer when I self tan, depending on like where I'm at in the self tan process, like how many days it's been. I just self tanned, self -tanned yesterday, so I'm a little bit warmer than normal today. So I definitely feel like I need to add in some bronzer just to balance the coolness of the eyes. I definitely like go back and forth. I think that's one positive thing about having, I'm gonna go on the side of nose. I think that's one positive thing about having very neutral undertones is that I can, I can go monochromatic, I can go monochromatic, cool or warm, or I can kind of balance it out. Lately, I've been kind of liking to balance it out. So I just want to make sure I have a little bit of warmth there. I don't want to go like completely cool today. Wow, I'm digging everything here. All right, let's move on to blush. I'm gonna use the Radiance Chic Cheek from Chantecai. This is the color Rose. It is Rose Whale Shark. Again, thank you to Teresa, because I could not figure out what animal this was, but it is a whale shark, so good to know. I'm gonna go in, I kinda wanna go up high today. I absolutely love blush. I feel like I never, look complete until I have blush on. I just think blush is such a fantastic product. I think it's probably one of my favorite products when I think about it. I'm such a sucker for different blush colors too. Like, I don't know, like blush and lips. Like I feel like I could own every single color of blush and lipstick and I would still buy more because I just love the way that it just peps you up. And you know, the other thing too is you can really get away with just using like a blush and a good lip color. Like those are really the only two makeup products I think that I would just use by themselves. Like even tinted moisturizer or foundation, I'm never gonna put one of those on and just be done. I'm definitely gonna need like at least a little bit of blush and a little bit of color on my lips. Even if it's just like a tinted balm, you know, because I think when you do foundation, you just, you know, kind of wash yourself right out almost, especially when you're as light as I am. <laughs> so I just feel like blush and lip color pep everything up. I don't feel like anything is ever complete without them. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit here on the tip of my nose. Ooh. I'm not gonna use this today, I don't think. I think I'm going to, no, I think I'll try it. I'm gonna try it, all right. I'm gonna try the highlighter that's in here. It looks like it's almost like a light, like champagne-y kind of color, almost gold. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, I like this. I'm just gonna kind of pat it. Wow. These are really beautiful products. One thing that I've really enjoyed about the Chantecai products is just how they look. And not just the packaging, but the fact that there's all these designs stamped into all the powder products. I just find it to be so beautiful. I love that. I really, I talked about it a little bit in that unboxing, but I really enjoy when my luxury products feel luxury. I think that's important when you're spending that much money on makeup products. I think it's important that you feel like there's something special and something luxury to them. I think that's a really important thing. I'm gonna take a little, let's see, I'm gonna take a little brush here and I'm gonna just put a little bit of this highlighter up here on the brow bone. I haven't done this in so long, <laughs> but I don't know. The look kind of calls for it, I think, because we're so fresh right now. I feel very fresh. I've been really loving fresh makeup. That's kind of been my, like the descriptor, the key descriptor I think that everything has in common is I've been liking to feel really like fresh. I have so many lip colors laid out, you guys. Like seriously, look. I'm not joking. Look at all the lipsticks. Literally, these are all the lipsticks that I, I pulled out because I wasn't sure where I wanted to go. There's one, two, three, four, seven lipsticks, seven lipsticks. Let's see, I think I can eliminate coral. I don't think I wanna go coral. JK Magic, oh, as I throw it on the floor. Mm, that could be a contender, maybe. This is YSL, this is the Rouge Pocatoire. Couture Zoe Kravitz one. So this one has like a little bit of a, ooh, that could be cool. Maybe that one. Again, like, am I really gonna narrow it down? 
Natasha Denona, I need a nude in Averill. No, too dark, don't wanna go that dark right now. Just not feeling that. Ooh, YSL number 10, I think this is called Beige Tribute. Is this Beige Tribute? Oh, this is like such a good like nude nude quote unquote for my skin tone it's really good for that this was sextrology from pat mcgrath too peachy don't want to go that peachy and then the last one i was thinking about was anna from nars i don't know you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna swatch these last like these three contenders and i'm gonna see which one i like next to my face best i see people do this all the time and i want to try it so let's see Mm. JK Magic is out. I think it's too light. So it's going to be between Anna and the Zoe Kravitz. I'm going to go with the Zoe Kravitz because I just didn't use this and I really like it. I'm going to try to go straight in. I'm not going to use a lip liner today. Hmm. I'm really lucky my lip line is defined enough that I can usually just swipe on and rub my lips together and I get a pretty clean line. I actually really like that. I feel really good with that. Wow, let's take our hair down and see how it looks. Oh, we're gonna spray my face. I'm gonna spray my face real quick. I'm gonna use this, um, I can't pronounce it. It is Hungarian. I'm gonna use this spray for my face today. If you're wondering where my Cover FX spray is, I have it here. It is still my favorite. I'm just trying to branch out. This is very perfumey, also very expensive. I bought their night cream or their like cold cream, face cream. It was really expensive, it was like 200 something dollars and it was a huge mistake. I, I just like, I don't know why I spent that much on it. I think I was pregnant and my skin was like really dry and really unhappy and I just was like, I will try anything and I did and it was not worth it. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. We are all finished. I actually really love this face of makeup. I like that it's very balanced. I've got some cool tones going on. The bronzer kind of warmed me up a little bit. I don't know what's been going on, but I've been like kind of digging some cool tones. I don't know if it's like I'm ready for fall. I'm like, let's do it. Let's get some cool tones going. I just, I think that with everything that's been going on like the past few months, all of us are kind of like, yeah, change sounds really nice. A new season, a fresh start sounds beautiful. Crisp fall air, let's do it. But this is definitely still fresh enough that I feel like kind of summer and I think that it definitely did make my eyes look a little bit bigger while still kind of maintaining that elongated, upturned look that I really enjoy. So this was just so much fun. I had so much fun playing with all these products and chatting with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you can always chat with me down below in the comments, also over on Instagram. Until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye.